Hello everyone and welcome back to the RAR pack. Uh, last time we took a quick inventory of what was our uh, new base and uh, did a little bit of looking around, did a couple of dungeons and made ourselves an iron hammer which if you'll look in my inventory I forgot to bring with me on our little adventure into a cave system. So I did find a cave but I am without a hammer so I'm in the process of making uh, all the resources that I need for another one. I did bring the file, so we're going to be able to make our first iron pickaxe. And I also came across a dark ore that, because Wayla is not working correctly, I cannot see what it is. So I'm going to see if an iron pickaxe is good enough to harvest that. I may need a diamond pickaxe, though, because I don't think I can actually harvest this, uh, this black granite cobblestone or black granite stone. Uh, the other game that I played had areas that looked similar to that, but I could not uh, I could not harvest without a diamond pick, so we'll look into that later. But for now, uh, we're going to go and grab out uh, 15, and we're going to go and make a hammer just like we did last time. Have one stick over there, and then six of these. So these hammers don't last super long, so it's okay that I've actually had to make another one. Um, so as we did before, we need to make an iron plate. And then I'm going to get a few more sticks here. So this is how you need to make your iron pickaxes now. So you have the file down here that basically files that plate off, and then the hammer over here that helps pound everything together, and that's how you make an iron pickaxe. So I've used up all my stone pickaxes, so we're going to start off with this. And as you can see, when you use these for anything, it goes, it, it starts taking up uses out of them. So uh, the iron hammer, when it's making plates, actually uses a lot of its uses a lot more than just one or two. Uh, the file is uh, lasts a fairly long time. Um, I also don't know if we saw this before, if this was off camera, but I did get a potato from one of the zombies, so I can actually make a potato farm now and possibly not go hungry all the time anymore. Um, That's not what you want. Ugh. Okay. So what I was going to say was that I made a nice, safe little path to get down here, but instead I fell into lava. So let's go ahead and go back up the way we uh, should have gone here so that I can show you that. And maybe I will stop being on fire here before too long. Okay, there we go. So anyway, I made this path down here, but I unfortunately dropped right down beside it instead. Um, so I didn't do a whole lot of exploring down here. I did a bit, but since I had used up all of my pickaxes, I had waited. Um, and I also see rubies over here, which I very much want to acquire. So I'm going to sneak over here and see if I can't get those without being attacked. And drop down. And how many we get? Three. So almost enough for what I'd like to do with them. Um, rubies are one of the things that you will need just an absolute ridiculous amount of in uh, Greg Tech. And I'm not going to destroy this block, but I am going to barricaded up. Um, the rubies have uh, chrome in them, and chrome is used for all of the highly advanced machines in Greg Tech. So you can see there it's CRAL203, so it has chrome, aluminum, and oxygen in it. The chrome is fairly rare even inside the rubies. I think you need, it's, I think they changed it from nine to six ruby dust in order to make one chrome dust so you can turn it into an ingot. So very expensive, but if you can have uh, magical crops or bees that produce uh, ruby essence or uh, tiny piles of ruby dust, ruby pollen and stuff like that for you, uh, then you can, you know, kind of have them made automatically for you, which is very, very useful. So, I almost thought that those are diamonds over there, but they're not. I think it's just tin. Um, so the other thing that I want to do is uh, kind of take a little walk down here. I'm not quite low enough still to look for diamonds, but that is something else that I would like to try to find. So we're just going to dig ourselves some paths down here and light things up so that you guys can see. It's hard enough for me to do it. I can only imagine it's probably difficult for you as well. Um, the main thing is I'm just going to pick up as much of this stuff as I can, and I'm also going to try to get as much copper and tin as I can too, because like I was mentioning before, the Bronze Age is uh, kind of your first step with Greg Tech, and bronze is made out of tin and copper, and you need a ton of it. 
Um, I realized very quickly from the first time going through this mod pack myself, playing around with everything, trying to find the most efficient ways to do things, that the sooner you can get thermal expansion stuff running, uh, the better off you'll be, because it just is so much more efficient as far as using your materials to make bronze. So that's what we're going to try to do before we do anything else. I'm going to try to set up a couple of those things, just a, a steam dynamo and a pulverizer to get us started. Um, oh, gold. Won't say no to that. Um, don't need any jungle saplings. But yeah, so diamonds and redstone are two things that we're going to try to get a hold of while we're down here. Um, I do have Xnilo installed. And if I felt like it, I could use a bunch of my iron. I would need one more still, I guess. Um, and I could make a cobblestone generator and then just constantly use like gravel, sand, and dust to get all the resources that I need, uh, like the diamonds and stuff like that. But it's just so much easier to do a little bit of mining here and then plus while we're down here I can talk about some things that we're that we're gonna want to do so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is build ourselves a uh, boiler and you need the uh, the small coal boiler and you'll see we need bronze plates so we need five of them which means we need ten ingots and we're gonna need to make a wrench and bricks and furnace um, the bronze plates if you just combine one tin ingot and three copper ingots in a crafting table, um, it will make you a bronze ingot, but one bronze ingot, only one. So you need to have like, you know, 30 copper just to make one uh, coal boiler if you do it that way. Um, also, don't freak out guys, I did see the diamonds over there, I'm just uh, mentally preparing for having to go around where there's lava to actually collect it. I'm getting the other stuff that I can in the meantime. Um, but yeah, you need a lot of it. But with thermal expansion, when you use the dusts instead of using um, oh, where's the creeper? Oh man, there's more diamonds up there too. Just hit the mother load down here. Okay. Um, but anyway, if you use thermal expansion, then you uh, the dusts actually combine to make four uh, bronze each as opposed to just one. So definitely worth doing. Um, I'm going to toss these guys, bring this down here so that I still have something to chew on, and go ahead and grab this. And then, do I have enough? Oh, uh, technically, yes, if I actually build another staging area down here, so let me go ahead and do that. Uh, let me get rid of those. Bam. Okay. So we're going to set up some stuff down here. Again, toss all of those in there, turn those into planks. Okay, and let's just go ahead and eat this and then try not to move a whole lot. That way we can get the other stuff going. To, while we're waiting for the hunger to wear off and get myself back up to full hearts. Um, the coal boiler is a way to get steam power, as it says here. Um, but you also need to use that steam power for something. So the first thing that you would normally make is the sturdy grinder. And the sturdy grinder is basically a steam powered macerator, um, but it is very inefficient. It, only half as efficient as the macerator is. Uh, the other thing that you basically need to make is the extractor. So the squeezing extractor is basically the only way to turn your sticky resin into uh, rubber pulp or rubber. Um, so in order to get into the electronic age or the, you know, the, the electronic the electrical age of Greg Tech and industrial craft, you need to build one of these. So it's a very, uh, it's a very necessary thing. Um, and there's a few other bronze things that you can make here as well. Uh, the bronze blast furnace and the bronze plated bricks are what you need in order to progress into the steel age, which is what you'll need in order to get into the electric age as well. Um, and then anytime you need to make some cheaper. Uh, Build, uh, cheaper machines, you'll need bronze machine hulls. So you do need bronze for quite a bit of stuff, and it's always good to collect any copper and tin that you run into. Okay, so the reason I was doing this, guys, is so I can go ahead and make another chest down here, so that the stuff that isn't super important 
but still not stuff that I would like to lose, like this lead and this ferrous and the gold, all things that I really don't need. The Certus quartz, this, 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 not that. Uh, aha, we have a friend. Let's just uh, toss him into the lava. Okay, where that works too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a couple of diamonds here. And uh, you can save diamonds. I don't have uh, Tinker's Construct installed on here. Oh, look, we have another friend. I'd really like to kill him before I start trying to harvest diamonds, because I am not going to get, get myself killed. Oh boy. I don't like that the zombies tend to sneak up on you like that, and also when you attack one, all of the others somehow find out where you are. I think that's just kind of something that's been added into the game, more or less, but it is still quite annoying. Okay, and my luck, we will also end up losing this. So let's just get rid of that. Ooh boy. Okay, maybe that'll work. Alright, doesn't look like there's any lava around here. We have one diamond, two diamonds, three diamonds. Okay, that's enough to make a first diamond pick, which is good. And the diamond pickaxe recipe luckily does not change, so if you have it working, or if you, if you know the regular diamond pickaxe recipe, which is just three diamonds and two sticks, it works the same in Greg Tech. They didn't change around the uh, the gems, just the metal uh, pickaxe recipes. So bronze, you have to make the same way as you made the uh, the as you make the iron pickaxe in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just collect up some of this extra tin because we'll need this. And the other thing that I'm trying to look for is redstone. And I wish I could say if you see any, shout it out to me. But unfortunately, it's just me here, so I'll have to make do with what I have. But I'm going to grab up all of these. The sapphires are not as useful as the rubies, like, at all. They have almost nothing to them, but if you want to use them for making tools, I do believe that uh, that you can still make uh, ruby tools and uh, sapphire tools and stuff as well. Let me just double check on that real quick to make sure. And yeah, you can. So you can use them for that if you don't want to use up your iron, which honestly probably isn't a bad idea because you can get the, uh, the, the ruby things fairly... Uh, commonly. Also, we have another friend. Luckily, I also have a ton of stone swords, so possibly by the time I'm done fighting all the monsters, I'll have enough room in my inventory to bring everything back up. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, so our main goal is to get a bunch of resources while we're down here. And I might be able to bring it up this episode, I might not, but I'll try to get back to the base as soon as possible, and then we'll actually start doing some building, because I do think I have just about enough for us to really get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead, that's not at all what I wanted to do, but that's okay. We can get up here, um, block that off real quick. No, 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 no more. Okay. Okay. So more of that, so we can start healing up a little bit. We still have a couple left over. And right on cue. Ouch, that one hurt. Okay. So our goal is still to try to find some redstone. I know I shouldn't be moving right now, but... I think that might be some down there, actually. We're just going to leave this water here for now while I kind of heal myself up a little bit. Let's go ahead and eat the apple. Just come to the point that I'm regenerating a little bit here. And we'll block this off. Try to come down here and give the creeper a good whack. out of the way. Excellent. And... Okay. just realized I need to get rid of these. Try to keep my inventory as open as possible. That way I can actually acquire all the things that I find. And, uh... Hopefully once I, once I get a couple of the uh, resources 
or a couple of the uh, machines and stuff started here, I'll do a little bit better with uh, resource management and my uh, inventory management here. Also, more diamonds. We're at five right now without even making a single machine, which is awesome. Um, also, one other thing to mention is that uh, industrial diamonds in the older version of Greg Tech could only be made with the implosion compressor, but I have found that in this version um, they actually let you make it with the uh, you know turning coal into coal dust, combining it with flint, compressing it, putting it around obsidian, and then uh, combining it again, uh, which was the the old industrial craft way of doing it, and was uh, not really cheaty, but it felt like it a little bit sometimes, I guess. Um, but that's been restored here, so also I'm pretty sure I hear a skeleton and I really don't want to fight a skeleton right now because I'm right next to a whole bunch of sludge and it's probably going to suck. Huh. But if he falls into what sounds like lava, then I won't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and grab the gold and the silver because I actually have a, a uh, pickaxe that can harvest silver. Grab all of these guys up too. Uh, you'll probably notice watching all of, the uh, all of these episodes and many series that I do afterwards that I'm a bit of a hoarder. Um, I, I try to just collect pretty much everything, but I, I f try to focus on not grabbing absolutely everything unless I can hold it. Um, I've found in the past that I do have a, uh, ouch, wow. All right, shooting flaming arrows at me. That's awesome. Come on. Wow, jerk. There we go. Right. Now, one thing. Oh, boy. Oh, good. I lit you on fire. These guys are coming from somewhere, and it looks like it might be up here. No. Nice one, spider. Okay. So I think we have enough resources for now. Um, I should make a waypoint or something over here so I know about these diamonds. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere over here. This is insane. Alright, definitely sending a waypoint. Wrong menu. Waypoint. New waypoint and diamonds. What I'm going to do is uh, back to the game here real quick. I'm going to get a little bit more iron, and I'm going to go ahead and make myself a bucket. Uh, the bucket recipe has changed as well, which is why I'm not just making one with the iron that I have here. I actually need six iron ingots to, in order to make a bucket. So that's what we're going to come down here and do. Pending, I don't get assaulted by more zombies, which sounds like they're following me. Um, toss a couple of these in there. And I want to have a bucket of water so that I can kind of uh, obsidian my way over to where all the diamonds are. So I don't have to kind of like jump around the lava and worry about dying. Um, the other thing is I've also just found an absolute butt ton of these little ferris ore lime all over the place. Um, the ferrosaur is used to make platinum. Not a, a, a great deal of it, but some. And platinum is very rare, so it's definitely good that I've found those. I'm not going to do any kind of processing with those until we have the industrial grinder set up, because that's the most efficient way of actually uh, acquiring the, the byproducts, because the main product is nickel, but it will also give you little piles of uh, platinum dust as well. So we'll look into getting that stuff later, but for now I'm going to leave it basically unprocessed. One, two, three. So basically we take the iron hammer, and then we take the three like that, and you have to put the iron hammer in there as well, so it takes another use out of the iron hammer. But at the end you get a bucket. So that's how that works, and I'm going to go ahead and actually just take this block right here since we have it. And then we'll see if we can't sneak over here, despite the fact that there's a lot of mobs spawning over here, and uh, get that stuff. But I'm also going to put that up there. And I really... Wow. No hunger. That's awesome. That's not... Okay. 
That'll work, I guess. Okay. It looks like maybe this is another area where they may be coming from. Let's go ahead and light this up too, just in case. Now, I don't know if these are emeralds or if these are green sapphires. There's two different ones that they can be. Now, oh no, they're olivines. That didn't actually used to spawn in the overworld at all. That used to be a uh, an end-only realm material. So that's kind of cool that we have those now. Get in there, I don't want to waste my pieces. Okay. So if you let it sit for just a second, you can kind of use it to make yourself a little path around here. And I'm going to make sure that these don't accidentally fall into lava. Oh boy, there's a lot in here. And 11. Almost missed that one, but then I jumped. Okay, and then we'll lava board our way over here. Despite the fact that diamonds are fairly common right now for me, I still don't want to lose a single one of them because they are still quite useful. Um, that just looks terrifying, so we're going to stay away from that. And let's come back this way. I'm going to go ahead and also uh, delete our diamonds waypoint since I really don't need that anymore. I don't want to think they're still there and forget that they're not later. Let me go ahead and grab this ferris ore as well here. And Tally-ho, away we go. Let's go, uh... Yeah. See, this is my problem. I keep seeing more resources, and I think, yeah, I can carry that much, too. Oh, oh behind me. No, this is gonna be annoying. And there are some more zombies from every direction on the minimap. Just excellent. Get out of here, guys. Okay. Grab these. Oh, I'm gonna have to grab these two. I like having extra lead and silver around. Silver is good for electrum. Lead's good for item ducks and fluid ducks and all kinds of ducks. I've been neglecting tin because I know I don't need as much of it as I do copper, so I'm going to grab this too. And I'm probably eventually just going to get eaten alive by zombies because I'm way too greedy, but we'll make it work. Is there anything else in here that I can attack people with? Maybe I should just use a couple of the. Uh... I'll use a couple of the sapphires that I got to make a uh, to make a sapphire sword. That way, I have something that can help kill these things a little bit easier. Yeah, seven attack. That'll do it. Put this guy up here. Okay. I don't need this. I want to make sure I grab these. This won't fill up anything else. Um, I have an essence crop up there, so I really don't need the essence dust. Uh, the Certus quartz can wait. I already have ferrous ore in here, and gold ore. Lead ore, I don't have any of still. Um, I want to keep the gravel and the rubber tree saplings. I definitely need those. Um, I don't know any why I would need the creeper head, so we'll go ahead and grab this. Grab the rest of those, and I don't have a place for that. Let's just go ahead and throw the gunpowder in there. I'm not going to need that anytime soon. Okay. Uh, I will make a waypoint here. Lava level base. Okay. At least that way I'll know how to get back here to get these other less important resources that I have. Now the main goal is to try to find our way back out, and the best way to do that would be to head for our dark ore waypoint. So on my way up, I'm just going to collect as many of these things as I can. And possibly if I use up my pickaxe in the process, I may use a couple of the diamonds that we acquired to make a diamond pick and try harvesting that dark ore just to see what it is. Okay, 
Now, I should also probably eat something because I'm about to die. I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah, there is just copper and tin all over the place. And honestly, like, you would think that I will never need more, but the first thing I do is make um, magical crops for both of those because even with as many as there are, not it's not even nearly enough. You just need so many of them for everything, it's insane. Okay, wait, that's Lena's death. Alright, the cords over this way. Let's see if there's... Oh, yeah, it must have been up this way. Yeah, there we go. There's a little bridge that I made, and spider right on cue. Was that a baby zombie I just heard? Yes, it was. I hate those things. They're so fast. Nope. Uh... Where'd you go? They're fast, they don't drop anything, and they don't even give experience. They're just the worst. Okay, did I leave anything in here? No, here, no. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to find my way out, I think. Which should be this way. And this is a very dark area. But I believe the way out is over here. Uh, looking for daylight. This looks right. There we go. Cool. Okay. So we found our way out. All we have to do now is make it back to base. Um, and then I will plant the crops and process some of these materials. And I'll go ahead and get started on um, our thermal expansion stuff next time. So that'll be what we end up doing. We'll uh, we'll dig into thermal expansion a little bit. We'll make a pulverizer, possibly a redstone furnace, but I don't think it'll be necessary. Um, and then uh, we'll we'll look into entering the the bronze age of industrial craft and Greg Tech. And uh, and that'll be our next episode. And then once we have those things figured out, yeah, see here we got a couple of our crops set up. And I'm going to go ahead and just toss our potato in there, too. Bam. And our essence is done. Sweet. I'm going to get a little bit more inventory space real quick, and we'll grab those. And with that started, that means we can uh, dig right into making magical crop stuff as well. So let's just you get out of the way. Okay. So let's toss some of this stuff in here. And my goodness, I just have so many resources and nowhere to put them. Alright, there's all the ores and that stuff and that stuff. Okay. So I'll do a little bit off-camera work getting us set up for, uh... Oh my. Okay, free eggs, too. Yeah, I'll do a little bit of off-camera work getting us set up for, uh, thermal expansion. I'll get a couple of the resources made already, and, uh, that way we can get right into building. And I'll set some stuff up over here so we can get started, and then we'll uh, work into the, the Bronze Age. So that'll be the plan, and I uh, hope everyone's enjoying the series so far. Like I said, if there are any uh, mods that you can think of that you would like to have installed in here as well, anything that you think might add to the gameplay a little bit without making it too easy, I'm looking to make it a bit of a, a more difficult mod pack. Um, but if there's anything else that you can think of that you might want to have included, feel free to let me know in the comments. And uh, leave a like if you like the series so far, that way I know how we're doing. And I will talk to everyone next time. Bye.